for watching. Today we're doing another chatty get ready with me video and this time around it's just gonna be like a natural makeup. The whole point of this video is mainly to just chat with you guys because it's my favorite. So I already primed my face with my Fenty Beauty primer and then I put on this 100% pure coffee bean um, eye cream underneath my eyes and around kind of like also a primer for my eyes. Oh my gosh, so I got back from Anaheim and I was staying at an Airbnb and I think I left my Laneige lip mask. You guys know I'm obsessed with that stuff. I can't find it anywhere. So today I'm gonna be using the Ultra Repair Lip Therapy by First Aid Beauty. Feels good, but you know, Laneige lip mask is my favorite. All right, so for foundation, you guys, I like to just stick with the same one. Honestly, I like the Fenty Beauty one so much because it's, I feel like it's my perfect color match and I love that. And oh my gosh, do you guys see how I'm trying to match? <laughs> I have so many of these little hair, hair wrap thingy, hair towels. You guys can get like a three pack on Amazon. That's how Justin, um, Justin bought mine on there and I love them. And then I also have the Turby Twist. The Turby one I feel like is more absorbent than this microfiber one. Because the Turby one um, is 100% cotton and I feel like it's thicker. But both work really well, you know. So here I am applying my foundation. So I was on Facebook and on Twitter asking you guys um, if you guys had any questions so that I can chat about it and just get ready with me. And I don't know what's going on with Facebook but I can't reach you guys. It says I can only reach like 100 friends and I'm like why? So if you guys are um, not following me on Facebook, it would be so great if you guys did. That way we can act, re what's it called, interact on Facebook too. Because I don't know what's going on with Facebook. I really don't know what's going on with all of social media. They're like changing everything and then, uh, I don't know. I just don't understand it all. So I'm applying a second layer because I feel like my beauty blender was a little too thick, you know? I mean too wet. I am so out of it, you guys. I just, yeah. My eye is still twitching. It's my fault, though. I drank, like, two cups of coffee back-to-back. -back. Not, like, in the, like, I, I didn't wait, like, a couple of hours, like, back-to-back. -back. And I guess my body um, doesn't handle caffeine too well. So concealer is next. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I see you, Too Faced. I see you. Okay, so I brought this with me, actually, to Anaheim and i loved it like i just this is my new favorite concealer it honestly is tarte shape tape this and the it cosmetics one but the it cosmetics one is thick it's thick okay i have eye boogies i apologize but i won't show you guys this part okay because some things were not meant to be shown okay <laughs> I feel like maybe I need to get rid of this beauty blender. It's getting to that point where like there's holes in it. That's when you know. But it's like really do I need to spend another $20 on a sponge? Because this is really just a sponge. It's a patent, patented sponge but it's still a sponge nonetheless, you know? But it's such a good sponge. Like I told Justin I wish I invented beauty blenders because dang. That, that is something to create because everybody loves a beauty blender and I mean like so many brands are like trying to copy it but it no one matches the beauty blender you know what I mean you know it's also good lashes things that people continue to use throw away and buy that's what you need to invent or not throw away but you know what I mean like use up pretty often what would you guys invent if you guys could invent anything Oh my gosh, I was listening to the radio and there is a diaper bin that now helps you recycle diapers. Like it'll clean it, take the waste out. Oh my gosh, like it's not out yet, but it's going to be out. And I think that's amazing. Like I feel like that should have been invented a long time ago. Or maybe I'm just a mom saying that. <laughs> because by the time it's available, Jacob's probably going to be potty trained. So I've got my powder on, the same old powder I always use, Pure. Hit pan because I hate it so much, right? <laughs> I love it so much. I have not found a powder better than that. The 100% pure bamboo powder. Oh, I love that stuff. 
and I saw that they recently came out with like colored ones so that's probably going to be my no my new go-to but I'm you know I don't know much about the brand um and their entire collection but I need to check and see if they have a really good um powder because it doesn't hurt to try but I would feel like I would be cheating on my pure and I love this powder so much oh my gosh so you guys see this top it's actually not a top it's a romper let me show you guys it's a romper oh my gosh so Justin actually surprised me one day he brought flowers and he brought like this big Francesca's bag and I loved everything in it and this is one of the pieces that he picked on the Francesca he also got me like earrings and stuff but you guys know like these dangly types of earrings I like them but you know my go-to would be my like diamond studs or my pearl studs those are like my go-to I think studs because the last time I wore like dangle earrings Jacob pulled my ear and I screamed like it was so painful <laughs> so my eyes and stuff I'm just trying to do minimal makeup. I just like chatting with you guys. That's honestly why I'm here. <laughs> what was that? Is that my cat? I think that's my cat. Yeah, it was my cat. So I asked on Twitter if you guys had any questions or Facebook. Facebook didn't really work. But Twitter, um, I would like to know your hair care routine by Emily Tapia. I actually have a dedicated video, so I'll link that below. But it's it's not high maintenance at all like I don't really know what I do with my hair <laughs> shampoo condition and then um, Jasmine Elias asked what is the TV shows you have watched in Netflix um, so many I tell you guys a new one every time but the one that I want to dedicate this video is Queen of the South oh my gosh oh my gosh so it's like Narcos have you guys watched Narcos but the female version it it's incredible like it's so fun to watch like you're always rooting for Teresa and you want her to like get through all the hardship she's going through it's such a good movie it's so good so now I'm gonna use this bronzer it's by Patrick Star Mac give me life and um, I'm hoping this bronzer Ooh, is it matte? Yes, it is. I love matte bronzers. I feel like the tart one that I was using in the last Get Ready With Me was too light. That's why I was using so much of it because I was like, oh, I don't really see it on my face. So I just kept going in with that. And then this is a really old Motives brush. It's the bronzer brush that you see me use every time for the past, like, I don't even know. Like, this is older than Liam. <laughs> You guys, it's legit older than my son. My older, my oldest son. Man, we go way back brush as we do. You are special. You are loved. <laughs> ah, baby weekly. <laughs> oh man, this brush, man. It, oh my gosh, I have raved about this before, but honestly, it's so old and it works so well. Let me know if there's a really good like nose contouring brush because you know your girl doesn't know how to contour her nose. Like after all these years still, I, I look crazy now. Like I feel like I put too much bronzer on the nose. Yeah, I just don't know what I'm doing with my life, right? Okay, so now I'm going to grab that big old powder brush that I've been using this one and fix the contouring I did to my nose because it's not looking right. Because your girl didn't know how to do that. Um, this. Do you guys see this? It's great for traveling. I wrap it with like my clothes when I travel so that it doesn't get jacked up in my suitcase. And it doesn't break because, you know, breaking mirrors is not a good thing. Like, I'm superstitious. I would never want to break a mirror. Um, but this is so great. $1.50, I believe, at Daiso. This, I, this was purchased maybe three years ago, if not even longer but i'm sure they still sell something similar like a foldable oh and then um conair sells a similar one if you don't live by a daiso i know i don't live by a daiso so yeah that's hard for me to find regularly for blush i'm thinking i really like the 100 percent pure blush that pink one right here and this is a really good palette it's called the better naked palette i have used it like almost like months in a row but then i was like you know what I, pr I should probably try new products again oh no where's my blush brush i don't know where my blush brush is but i'll use this 100 percent pure blush brush oh okay it's their blush brush but there's certain brushes that i 
prefer. So here I'm putting on the blush. Do you guys see it? It's so pink and cute. I love this one. Oh yeah, so definitely watch um, Queen of the South. It's so fun to watch. Handmaid's Tale is so good. But Handmaid's Tale is, um, you have you buy it on Amazon the first season, I think. The second season is not available on Amazon quite yet. Unless you're a Hulu member, like a paying Hulu member, then you can watch it. But it's so good. Handmaid's Tale, I don't know who, what the actor, I'm so I feel so bad that I don't know the actress's name, but she was also in Mad Men, and she's really she's she's really good. That show is crazy. It's like what happens in the future and like and how like I guess like baby women can't have babies anymore. It it's weird, weird but really good. I'm all over the place with my makeup today just because I don't want to put too much like I mentioned, but I feel like I say that and then look. I went cray cray with the blush. I want to line my lips. This is 100% pure in cognac. I love this lip liner. I lined a little bit outside my lip because your girl wants fuller lips without lip injections, you know? Nothing wrong with lip injections if anyone is doing that. I know that in the beauty community, that's like normal. It's like, okay, whatever, normal. But for me, oh, Justin's like, please don't do it. Please don't do it. It's going to look fake. And I'm like, it won't look fake if you find the right person. But I, I haven't done it and I don't plan to do it. I love that color, you guys. I love it so much. And then I'm going to go in with this color by e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Nude Kiss Lip Gloss, and it's plumping, see, see? You line the lips outside, and then you plump it with some lip plumper, and you're good. You are so good. For eyebrows, I'm using this NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil and Brunette. Um, this, prob this is not the best shade, but I want something that's precise and small, and I ran out of my Benefit one, so I need to um, get some more of that stuff. The benefit precisely my brow one i have the goof proof one but i just wanted to draw my eyebrows a little bit more just because i haven't gotten them threaded in a while and i feel like drawing it it's easier for me to see my eyebrows and create a shape when drawing it like this i don't know why but eyebrows take me forever you know what it is i'm not like i'm not I'm not a good drawer and like an artist at all and I feel like eyebrows involve some kind of technique and I can't even draw a straight line so how can I even do my eyebrows you guys <laughs> so there's something I wanted to chat with you guys about today and I think that's gonna be like body image I remember Jacob's first swim class which was maybe a month ago or something and at first, I was telling Justin, like, Justin, you're going to go in the pool. And I, I don't ever want to go in the pool. Like, you're just going to go in. Like, I don't want to go in. I'm not ready. I'm not snatched. Um, I haven't worked out as much as I would like to. I haven't seen results from the gym quite yet. So you're going to go, Justin. And I'll watch, you know, and I'll film and watch. And just be there to cheer you guys on. And... Thinking about that, like I felt bad, but it was my insecurity that was making me tell Justin those things. And it was me being insecure about how other people would see my body and how I see my body. But Justin like always reminds me like, oh, you know, he's my husband. He loves me, but he always makes me feel so beautiful. And he's like, you have a great body. It's okay. But he understands. Stood. He's all like, if if that's what you want to do, you know, if you're not comfortable yet, then that's what you're going to do. Like, you don't have to go in the pool. And I felt that because I wanted to take turns with Justin. But at the same time, I let my insecurity take over. And I just was so, like, I was like final. Like, I was like, nope, not going to do it. Won't do it. And then my sister-in-law, Jessica, came. She visited out of town. And we were talking about, like, our like our bodies and the changes we've had as a mother 
and she really like this is buxom um black is black mascara she really like i don't know what happened but her chat about how a woman's body is a miracle and we go through so much like it it resonated with me and it's like it's what i really needed to hear that that moment like and that day like the next day was swim class and i told justin you know what i want to go in the pool with jacob and so i went into the pool with jacob and i don't regret it i want to be the fun mom i want to be the mom who will do anything and everything and i don't want to hold back because of my insecurity about like my mom pooch and things like that it's funny though because I have a lot of wrinkling on my stomach. I'm not insecure about the wrinkles, which is weird because you would think the wrinkles would be looking crazy. But it's more the pooch that bothers me, you know? And like I have a C-section and like when you have a C-section, sometimes for women, the like the fold shows and you've got like that extra skin and then the pooch on top of the like C-section fold. So it looks like like a double belly or something and that's what I've got going on. And long story short, I'm just really grateful for my sister-in-law because of that chat. And it really, it somehow empowered me. It made me think, wow, like what was I thinking to, to not want to participate in my son's first swim lesson, you know? So I got to be part of Jacob's first swim lesson. And Justin and I have been taking turns one week. Justin will go in the pool with him and then the other week I'll go in the pool with him and it's been great. The camera died so I put in a new battery and I guess I don't even know where it ended but moral I'm putting more lip gloss on. Did I tell you guys the shade yet? It's called Nude Kiss by e.l.f. Moral of the story is no matter you're, if you're a mom or you're not and you're insecure about your body, don't let it hold you back from having fun and being in the moment and making those memories because I almost did that and I, I would have regretted it, you know? My kids are young, only, they're only three and one, or now he's four, <laughs> four and one for a short period of time and I want them to just always remember mommy was there, you know, mommy had fun with them and mommy played with them and when they look back at their memories and their childhood I don't want them to feel like oh mommy didn't go in the pool because because of her stomach and like what kind of example would I be to them you know I don't want them to grow up with body insecurities I want them to grow up thinking they are absolutely perfect just the way they are because that's how I see them and in a way that's what Justin tells me all the time that's how I see you you gave birth to my children that's how I see you it doesn't matter your belly it doesn't matter about the skin it doesn't matter about the little fold from the c-section all of that doesn't matter so I hope that m me sharing the situation has somehow helped you get over anything that was bothering you because trust i'm still insecure about it and i've even thought about like a tummy tuck i've even researched about it you guys and it's not something that i want to do like i have read that downtime is like two weeks and i don't got time for that like i have young children like i can't be in bed for two weeks like i i just can't do it and at the end of the day it's just not something i would do it's not like you know <laughs> my job relies on me showing myself in a bikini and stuff like you know what i mean like i don't think i would ever wear you know a skimpy little stringy bikini anymore like i did when i was younger um, but that doesn't matter a one piece is cute and those high-waisted two pieces oh those are everything too they're cute so yeah, I'm gonna put on some lashes just because I feel like lash, I love lashes, let's be honest. This is 110 by Ardell, and it's been a minute since I've used this. Oh, and Esquito Lash Glue because I love it because it doesn't smell like fish like the Ardell. My bad. Sorry, Ardell. I love your lashes, but your lash glue, y'all could do. <gasps> it's not even by Ardell. It's from Duo. My bad. Why did I think that Duo was by Ardell? My bad. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, my nail polish, I love it. It's by Essie. It's like a nude pink, and it's called Mademoiselle. I love that shade. Um, it chipped off, and then I reapplied. 
I've been wearing this two weeks in a row, the, the color. Like, I, I haven't changed the color. Switch. I need to switch it up every now and then. But I just love that color. You know when you love a color and you're stuck on that color? Like, for me, it's really hard for me to switch it up with my toenail color. Like, I love red nails. Like, red toenails. I don't know why. So here I am popping these lashes. Oh, why did I do it wrong? Okay, there we go. Lashes are on. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like I do my lashes pretty fast now. Back in the day, oh goodness, I'd be like taking forever. And 110, if you guys are new to lashes, try 110. They're so subtle. Like, look at this lash and look at this. You can kind of barely see a difference, right? And see, let me close my eyes. Or let me look down. Do you guys see? It's not that dramatic. Definite. Or accent lashes, the little side lashes. When Justin and I got married, I wore accent side lashes by Ardell. Those little tiny ones just on the ends to kind of give your eye a little flare. But if I could look back at my wedding and the wedding photos, I wish I had the knowledge and the skill that I have now in makeup because I would have done my own makeup. And I mean, the guy that did my makeup, he was excellent. He was amazing. But I would have done my makeup a different way. Like I would have worn more dramatic lashes because that's just the type of gal I am now. <laughs> I would have worn some dumb dramatic ones. So here are the other lashes. Back then when I would put on my lashes, I'd close my eyes, but I learned that um, keeping your eyes open is actually better because when you close it, it doesn't get the curve and shape to your eyeballs. You know what I mean? Or your lash line, not eyeballs. No, no, you guys. I'm left-handed, so I find applying the left lash so much easier like this one I jacked it up oh dang yeah this one I'm having some trouble with you guys oh I have to remove it <laughs> and then reapply that's just how it is sometimes let me know if you guys do the same sometimes you would think after all these years doing my makeup I would get it right the first time but I don't I just don't so in the comment section, I'd love to learn more about you, like who you are, if you have any insecurities like I do and what you guys, um, like how it affects your life and, and how you have managed to overcome them. If you have, I would love to know, like for me, my stomach is, I don't know, it just bugs me because like, like when people ask me if I'm pregnant and all that. Like at first I was very defensive about it and then like when I think about it, why is it bothering me so much? Because it because it's an insecurity of mine and like it's something that I didn't want to face, you know? And I feel like that's how sometimes people react. Like they're like, oh, whatever about it. And then all of a sudden it's like, wait, I think about this and it bothers me. The way I have managed to like kind of hide my stomach is I wear a lot of clothing that that's loose. If you guys notice, I don't wear like really tight clothes. Everything that I wear is really loose and that's just become part of my style because it hides my belly. I came up closer so for the eyelids, I don't really want to wear eyeshadow. Like I just don't feel like it today. So I'm grabbing some of that pure powder like this with a bubby brush. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid just so that um, it evens out everything like that. I just don't feel like eyeshadow today. Like it. Sometimes you have those days, right? And then I should lay out my makeup like here. That way I don't have to keep doing this, right? You would think I would know to do that now. <laughs> this is LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. It's white and it'll wake up your eyes and make you look like you're awake. Well, wake up your eyes. I like it because it really does glide. Like, there's no budging. It doesn't hurt. None of that. 
second camera battery that died. I don't know what's going on. And so now I'm using this Benefit Gimme Brow for my eyebrows. It keeps the brows in place and adds some more color to it. I just, I love it so much. I'm so glad that they created this. Like, I love it. It's got a pretty strong scent to it, but it's kind of far from my nose, so it doesn't bother me that much. But if it was like right by my nose, it would probably bother me a little bit. So now I want to tightline my eyes. Gotta find a good one. Not this one. This one always works. The Mali um, Evercolor Gel Waterproof Liner. Oh, Mali's liners are so good. If you guys haven't tried Mali products, I would recommend her liners. They're so creamy and they glide on really, really well and they stay on. They're called Bulletproof. Tight lining will just make your eyelash line look fuller. Like if you guys saw the difference, like I love it. And I like mixing my real and fake lashes together with some mascara. So this is the books of mascara that I'm applying, putting a little bit more to the bottom lash line just cuz I I like a little bit of that. And I feel like we're missing something. So we're gonna add some highlighter. This is the Mali What's Up, What's Up Ombre Highlighting Trio. I don't know why I say it like that. I just always have to. So we're going in with the shade medium. Because I think medium is good. It's like subtle. Do you guys see that? I mean, it's not crazy subtle, but in, in person, I feel like it looks subtle. But on camera, it's like, hello, let me blind you with my highlighter situation like that anyways friends thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry the camera died like twice like i had three thank goodness i had like three batteries but i'm sorry the camera died um hopefully like it didn't mess up whatever i was trying to share with you guys in the video but this is my my look this is like just a natural some lashes which is not very natural but it's no eyeshadow just more like blush highlighter and a natural lash and that's it but thank you guys so much for watching you guys know this video is not really for makeup it's just to hang out with you guys while i do my makeup so in the comments please share um your favorite things your favorite makeup products share below any topics you want me to share in another get ready with me video because i love get ready with me videos to chat with you guys so any questions you have any requests Please leave it below. I read all your comments. I try to reply to you guys as much as possible. Love you guys. Bye.